Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to talk about monitoring signals going in when you record and signals going out of your DAW and specifically with Samplitude Pro X5. This applies to older versions as well. So let's dive in right away. Usually in my studio, I deal with headphone mixes and my monitoring within uh, Total Mix FX that comes with my RMA interface. But some other interface does not have a real-time mixer, and that's why I'm doing this video today. One of my uh, viewers from YouTube asked a few questions. He has a PreSonus Q2626 that does not have a real-time mixer. So in this video, I'm going to... Uh, expose how I do it with Total Mix FX of RMA and then within uh, Samplitude itself. Hopefully, it will give him uh, the solutions and maybe to others too. So, let's go. So, the first thing that we will do is create a project. I will show you how I do my monitoring with the virtual mixer included with uh, my RMA UFX. And after that, I'm going to show you what you can do within uh, Samplitude in case your interface does not come with a real-time mixer. So let's create a project. All right. So usually the first thing that I will do is go in the monitoring section and I will choose no audio monitoring, peak meter only. What that does is that Samplitude will not redirect any audio out of what uh, is set up as the master bus. So if I pull up the mixer... Uh, if I play back, there's some audio that will come out of the master bus, and that's it. There's nothing else going off. If I activate the monitoring here, it won't activate anything It's uh, unless I change this mode. With Total Mix FX, I will choose an output. Let's say this one, which is headphone one, and I will choose the levels of what I want to hear. If I have the drums set up in the ISC preamps, bass, drum, snare, and etc. So everything live will be redirected to the headphone outputs. Now, if I have a click track or if I already have a ghost track, then uh, the signals coming out of uh, Semplitude will be here in the monitors so that's my main output and i can also redirect this output to my headphones so not only i will hear um, in my main monitors but the same audio signal will go to uh, the headphones as well now a thing that i like to do instead of using this uh, software playback is set up a different playback output from Samplitude and redirect it to phones. So what it allows me to do is that I can control the levels of my monitor where I work in my monitoring room. And if I lower the volume or anything, it does not affect the levels that the musician will hear in the headphones. So they are independent. Very easy to do. You set up a sub-mix bus that will be just before the master bus. Um, it set up. Just add one more. Okay. And you redirect everything to it. So every tracks that are already there, you redirect to it. Select and then bus. And this bus goes to the master. After that, you will need an auxiliary bus to send the signal to the headphones. So maybe I can choose this one and I choose my software output name phones, which means this one here. And then I can take the submix bus and send it to the auxiliary bus. 
like so. This means I will have this volume independent of this one going to the headphones. So let's say uh, you don't have an interface that comes with a virtual mixer, um, maybe like a Presonus 2626 or something like that. I know that many have one, like uh, the Focusrite, they have Mix Wizard, so you can redirect the signals as you wish, but some don't. So that's what we're going to check now. Um, the first thing to do is to hit Y, and here in Audio Devices, Everything on top is your inputs, so what you redirect on tracks when you record. And on the bottom, it will depend on how the interface is done. Either they will be software playback like me, or direct access to the outputs, the physical outputs of your interface. Read the manual, make some tests, you will find which output does what. Uh, you see that, that I renamed a few. Uh, those are the um, default names. Um, once you know which is your headphone outputs of your interface, then you will be able to redirect some sounds to it. Uh, once this is done, go into Audio Setup. And there's a few adjustments at the bottom. Uh, you can click on Mix Input and Playback. So you will hear the playback and uh, the inputs at the same time in your headphones, if you redirect to headphones. And here there's two choices, Manual mo Monitoring. Manual Monitoring will uh, monitor only the tracks that you aimed to be monitored. And it is done with this little speaker button here. If you click on it, it will be monitored. It uh, Y again. And if you choose the other way, tape monitoring, then everything going in will be heard when you are recording and when you are not recording. And if you hit playback, then the live uh, sound will be cut and you will hear the playback instead. So that's a good thing to start with. I'm going to try this first, and just above you have the monitoring setup. If you click on the little arrow, you'll see a description. So there's a few choices here. Now I'm using peak meter monitoring, which means that um, the track input of Samplitude will not be monitored, and the VSTI inputs will not be monitored. And if you, of course, push play, you will hear the objects, track, and buses uh, through the master bus, unless you redirect it otherwise. After that, hardware monitoring, which means that uh, some sound will be uh, taken from the hardware. And if you don't have the hardware monitoring virtual mixer, uh, this will be your first uh, choice software track fx monitoring so that's what we're gonna try like this what it will do is that uh, via the drivers the track input will be redirected where you want and the vst inputs as well so you can hear what you want so now uh, you hear me doubled because uh, OBS, which captures the screen, uh, received the audio directly from the input, and now it is receiving it from uh, the software as well, so the master output. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut down this output, like this. All right. So we're going to load a song on it, it will help you understand what it does. Let's see, maybe this. Okay. So in this mode, software monitoring economy engine, the ethics you put on your input won't be uh, heard only on the playback, of course. S and if you uh, want to hear the ethics, then we will go to Mixer FX Monitoring. Uh, but now, as it is on Software Monitoring, you can 
hear the playback. So if we play back, it will cut the live feed and only play back the tracks that are there. So if So you did not hear my voice at that time. But if I record, you see that my vocal is aimed, then you will hear both and they will be affected by the level on the mixer itself. So if I hit record, you hear the music, I can change the level, change the level of my voice too. So you can make a mix uh, that fits your need when playing an instrument, let's say. And if while recording you change the level of one track, it won't change how loud it is recorded on the software, it will only change the monitoring level. So, and of course the mix level when you play back. If I play back now, you hear the music, I can change the level, change the level of my voice too. So you can make a mix. All right, so that would be a way. So let's say your interface has many outputs and maybe you want a signal different in your monitors than in the headphones then you can set up multiple outputs and mix them with auxiliary buses. And right here, we can use this one. I can add more if you want. And I can change the output for a different output than the others. You see this one is three, four, five, six, and here is the monitor, which is the first output. And that way, this allows me to send signal to it. So a bit of vocal, maybe a bit of music, and I can call it reamp or whatever. Headphones. And if I put down the volume here and I hit play. You see there is no signal in this output. And then if I higher the volume. Right, there's signal and you can even send some uh, live signal too. This one is live and you just up your fader and you see there's some signal too for the live monitoring. So results might differ depending on uh, the drivers, how they were built, the interface, how the software is built. Uh, but I'm sure you can find a way to work with uh, this setting. Uh, if you want to go further, you can try the mixer ethics monitoring. So you will hear the same thing, but if you add some effects on a track, then the, this effects will be heard. Uh, if you need to play the guitar with an amp sim, it will be important to go there with this setting. Uh, so one, two, let's say I add a a delay, something like that, or a reverb, one, two, one, two. So, yes, so you can hear the reverb. <laughs> and if I go back to software monitoring, then the reverb is not active anymore. Uh, it will be active only on playback. So hopefully uh, many of you got the answers they were looking for. If not, some instruction how to redirect uh, audio within Simplitude and with Total Mix FX. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, put questions and comments and suggestions for future videos in the comments below. And of course, share my videos. It's always a great help.